The Memphis Grizzlies have emerged as a potential suitor for Kevin Durant. Let's talk about it. What up, ballers? Welcome back to the bar. My name is Barry. I will be your host today. If you love basketball and you love bars, please smash up that like button. And while you're down there, you might as well hit that subscribe button. We put out fresh NBA content almost daily, and we are live every single Wednesday night for Wednesday night parties. We'd love to have you join us. And real quick, before we dive into today's video, I want to remind you all, I am giving away a $250 Fanatics gift card. All you need to do is click on the link at the end of this video and uh, just follow the simple steps to enter in to win. All right, let's go ahead and dive here into the news of today. Memphis, the Memphis Grizzlies emerge as a Kevin Durant trade suitor. Uh, the Memphis Grizzlies have an amazing combination of young, talented players. They own a ton of draft picks, including five of their own. They're all unprotected. And then they have a draft pick as well from the Golden State Warriors. So they might be able to just offer the best package in the entire NBA for Kevin Durant, a combination of young talent and draft picks. Uh, just a deep dive here into the Memphis Grizzlies real quick. They finished number two in the Western Conference last season, 56 wins and 26 losses. They, uh, they did this all without uh, the presence of their best player, Ja Morant, for several stretches during this due to knee injuries, also in the playoffs, um, and they went much deeper than many people anticipated. This team has a ton of young, talented players, but at some point, you got to worry about minutes, you got to worry about upgrading the roster, and potentially they could surround some of these younger, talented players like Ja Morant and Jaron Jackson with proven bona fide superstar in Kevin Durant. Here's a quick look here at the Memphis Grizzlies roster. They traded for Steven Adams just a couple seasons ago. They have young talents like Desmond Bain, Dylan Brooks, Clark, Jared Culver, Danny Green. Uh, sorry, he's a veteran. Jaron Jackson Jr., Tyus Jones. And uh, obviously, Ja Morant is on this list as well. I do not think he will be available in any potential trade uh, yahoo sports has also mentioned that the memphis grizzlies are not willing to include desmond bain or jaron jackson jr in any offers for kd uh, if you are not paying attention jaron jackson jr is currently out he is uh, recovering from a stress fracture in his foot and he is scheduled to be out the next four to six months so that puts him uh, a return right around november december Let's take a look here at the NBA trade machine. Here's a little trade that I put together here. Kevin Durant heading to the Memphis Grizzlies for a combination of Steven Adams, Dylan Brooks, Dyer Williams, Brandon Clark, Xavier Tillman, Killian Tittle, and obviously you're going to need to throw a bunch of draft picks in here, first round picks, either from the Memphis Grizzlies, uh, the pick from the Golden State Warriors, whatever combination it takes to make the Nets do this deal. Yes, this is a lot to get, give up if you are the Memphis Grizzlies. However, we've seen in the past that teams are able to create a big three of sorts and uh, bring in veteran talent to surround all these guys. If you were to have a big three of Jaron Jackson, John Morant, and Kevin Durant, I think that team is extremely far, um, but they would be sacrificing depth. They would be sacrificing a lot of these young, talented players. That, uh, that helped them exceed expectations last season without John Morant for a portion of this. So it, it is a tough uh, risk and reward if you are the Grizzlies. If you're the Brooklyn Nets, you're looking at this deal and you're saying, okay, well, we have some young pieces to build around. We have draft picks, whatever we can get for Kyrie Irving. This will help in our rebuild process. But we don't get another star or a guy that's, that's currently proven himself in the NBA. Yes, Steven Adams has been productive and played with Kevin Durant. Uh, before. Um, also, Dylan Brooks has, has had an exceptional uh, couple seasons, um, but is he really going to be a star in this league? I think so. So this is a very uh, tough decision if you are um, Brooklyn, because Kevin Durant is, is a once in a generational type talent, right? And giving him up, you need to decide on what the direction of your franchise is going to be, whether you are going to be going into a full rebuild, which probably includes a trade of Ben Simmons, 
includes a trade of Kyrie Irving? Or do you just, uh, you know, try and do a quick rebuild and, and try and make it right back to the playoffs as soon as possible? The Memphis Grizzlies offer is not bad. You know, it's, it's a good combination of young players and draft picks. Obviously, draft picks don't win basketball games and young players do take time to develop. So if the Nets do decide to go the full on rebuild, this might be one of the best offers they can receive. However, if they are looking to do a quick retool and compete next year, this is obviously not a deal they would be interested. I want to hear from you all down below in the comments. Let me know who says no in this deal. Does Brooklyn say no? Does Memphis say no? And then I also want to hear your thoughts on if a deal like this were to happen, what does this mean for the Memphis Grizzlies? Are they automatically the favorite in the West next season? Uh, and on that topic as well, Brooklyn does have a little bit more incentive to make a deal with a Western Conference team where they will only have to face Kevin Durant twice a year as opposed to trading him within their conference or even within their div division. We've heard the Knicks mention multiple times where they would have to face him multiple, multiple times. So I want to hear from you all down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.